Center. Close. Okay. Right about now. Look to the point. side where we were talking about. Got it. Don't let it land. Don't let it land. Back. All right. Back. 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 Don't, Back. Don't, Don't let it land again. Don't let it land again. going everybody so today as you can see we are flying tail dragger a very cool tail dragger to be exact it's known as the Satabra if you spell it backwards it's aerobatic <laughs> which is ironic but unfortunately we're not doing aerobatics today we're just gonna go out and I'm gonna essentially feel out what this uh, plane is all about that's that's the objective and uh, I'm actually looking at buying a tail dragger so I need to get as much tail dragger time as I can in order to prepare for this potential aircraft purchase, which that'll be in another video itself. So that is the plan for today. So buckle up and enjoy some tail dragger flying in a beautiful Citabra. You can use this as a step, but watch your step. God, I should have brought my hat, it's too damn cold. I know, at least tomorrow's gonna be nice. And the rest of it. about 10 gallons. And what does this hold total? This holds uh, 36. 36. And what's its typical burn rate? Uh, there's a, it's 118 horse, you tell me. Nine? No, no. Eight? No, no. <laughs> Here's the rule of thumb. Uh, that works for power settings you get around here. Uh, it, it's going to burn more closer to sea level, but okay. this works very well for just sort of intermediate altitudes. Take the horsepower, divide by 20, and I can't do that. So what I do is take the horsepower, divide by 10, and then cut that in half. Okay, so so 118 divided by 10 is 11.8. Divide that by two. Okay. It's, it's five and a half plus point oh, four. Yeah. No, it's not oh. quite. It's almost five and a half plus 0.4 is uh, 5.9. So, so 5.9 an hour, but it's not fuel injected. It's carbureted. Add a half to that. It's about 6.4. 6.4 six dollars. Boy, does it move that? It moves it quick. So after a long cross country trip, oh, finally I get to slow down, and you're kind of tired, and you grab the throttle, but you're really grabbing the trim because it, it's on the north like the throttle. <laughs> and you go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in a minute, the GPS will come up. Uh, it is not a touch screen. It looks like it is a touch screen, but when it asks you a question, just hit enter. Okay. Okay. And you'll notice there are two latches for this door. One's at the front. Okay. And one's behind your right shoulder. And likewise, I have a latch for the window and so do you. Got it. In an emergency, if you need to pull the door, you just pull that red ring and pull the red handle uh, by your right knee. Got it and the door falls off. Perfect. Okay. 
I hope we don't have to do that. <laughs> I don't blame you. Okay. So go ahead and hit the I, I agree and see. It may, it's like it wants you to hit Border the Border traffic. There you go. Two, turning left crosswind for runway eight. Border traffic. Okay. Uh, oh. It's fine. Two, three, eight, zero, weather, wind, three, five, zero, at six, visibility, one, zero, clear, below, one, two, thousand, temperature, one, Celsius, dew point, minus, one, three, altimeter, three, zero, two, six, six. right in front of us, there you go, all right. Taxiing is pretty traditional. Okay. Leave your feet pretty low on the pedals because you're going to tend to hit the brakes anyway. Okay. And now uh, let's taxi up to the run up, run up area. Okay. It's a light airplane. What I do to keep from dragging the brakes, feel what I'm doing on the brakes here. Okay. I overkill, get it started, and go neutral, and then the brakes stop. Overkill. Okay. In other words, I'm neutral and letting it ground loop in slow motion. When I want to stop this, I go stop the uh, and go neutral. Just like that. Yep. That way you don't have to run it at real high RPM just to taxi. Okay. Okay. I like that. It's your airplane? It's my airplane. Stick back, all other things being equal. Okay. Boulder traffic. We hear 562 turning left base for runway 8. Boulder traffic. I guess I better turn on the strobes. Okay. <clears throat> Here's my mnemonic. Okay. Boy, could I go for a prim, trim, proper, red-headed female late tonight. Wow. Boy, belts on. Okay. Good. Controls free and correct. Okay. Uh, do the, do you do, do you do this stuff? So, hold the brakes. And we know the rudder works. Yep. Because it steered the tail wheel. That is correct. Boy, could I. That's instruments. Instruments. Set, set up. The only thing you can set is the altimeter and the G meter, which is in the bottom row. Okay. And it's just a push to, to set to one. Okay. You can also check how hard you landed by using that. <laughs> okay. I like so, that. Boy, could I go. Gas valve on. Gas valve is on. Okay. Okay. And quantity, check right tank. Right tank. It's above your right shoulder. Yes. Okay. okay. Shows Should be just a little bit more than half. Okay, good. Boy, could I go for flaps and friction? Well, we have neither, so don't worry about that. Okay. Boy, could I go for a autopilot off? Ha, ha, ha. Trim <laughs> set for takeoff. It's right th uh, at the dot for alone, if you're alone, and it's right at the T, between the T and the A of tab when I'm in the Polar taxi. traffic, okay. Okay. RV zero, Charlie Goss, turn it downwind for you. Boy, me. could I go for a trim, trim, is traffic, prim here, primer locked. Two on the upwind for runway A, okay. primer locked. Okay. Boy, could I go for a prim, tr trim, trim. Redheaded is radios and run up. Well, the radios we've got pretty well figured out, and I always like to check the altimeter because I. Blue traffic, Cessna 94 goes over. I just for left downwind, runway 8. Yeah, check the uh, transponder is set to altimeter. And Boulder it is. traffic, we're here, 562 yep. turning left crosswind for runway 8. Okay. Uh, Boulder traffic. And full rich and, and uh, engine to 1800 RPM. Full rich, all the way forward? All the way forward. Okay. And 1800 okay. RPM. 1,800 RPM. And that just keeps you from picking up the tail. Then slowly Ooh, ease back. No, right about there. That's good. Okay. Now, go to the, go to the, uh, go to the mixture. Okay. And uh, seek the peak. And if it dies on you, just push it all the way in right away or we'll lose it. Okay. Okay. So go a little more carefully than that. Okay. I'll do it again. And it's just slow enough that you can see the drop start on the lean side, and you can just bring it back. Boulder traffic. Very RPG soon. Now, there's the drop. Bring it back. For okay. And it should go to about uh, uh, about 1850, and that's about where it is from the back. But you have parallax. So that's about the peak. Okay. So I would go about three hatch marks to the ridge, three to five hatch marks to the ridge, which should put it into the panel, put, put all the, the hatch marks into the panel. Okay. So count them, see how many you have showing. Right now, none. None? None. I would push it forward just a little bit from where it is. Push it forward. Yep, just a little bit. Okay. Okay, now let's try 
the we carburetor heat. We were looking for that okay. traffic. Sorry about that. Um, we are entering now the left downwind for runway 8 Boulder. That gave us a good drop. Okay. Okay. I've got you. Now, Magnetos, they're uh, above your right, uh, your left right. shoulder. They're yeah, here. We're going to be entering the yeah. downwind. All right. Just one, drop then on, the, then the uh, other, then on. Right Check the RPM drop. Should be around 100 on this airplane. Yeah, looks about right. I see that. And uh, let's see our car. Or did we do the carb heat drop already? I we guess did we do did. The carb heat. Okay. Yep. Boy, could I go? Well, let's look at the uh, engine instruments. They should be in the green. Okay. Uh, oil okay. temp is Great. warming up. Oil pressure looks yeah. good. And this runs cold. The oil temp runs cold on all Satarias, but it should be off this the, well, the cold pick. Okay. Boy, could I go for a prim trim proper redheaded radios run up. Late lights and latches. I think we can throttle back. Full traffic, twenty one nine two. Back taxi, light rate folder. We'll open uh, over the count of about three. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. That's about how fast you open the throttle. Okay. And after it's wide open, then you start bringing the stick forward about this fast. About that you fast. And, and eventually, you'll be at arm's length. You'll have to push it off on your fingertips. Really? Okay. Yep. And the nose will start coming up. You do not bring it up to a uh, level pitch attitude. Bring it only about a half of the way to two thirds of the way up to pitch level pitch attitude. Okay. But you will continue accelerating and all of a sudden the stick position will be too much and the tail will come up too high and you have to reverse and start pulling the other way. Got it. So, so you push, push, push and then, oh, that's about right. Oh, now I'm having to ease back. The pitch stays constant, but the airplane just flies off the ground. Okay. Okay, there's no rotation per se. You, you just get going so till the tail comes up. You hold a pitch attitude; it'll fly off. So you, you'll start developing speed on yeah. this, and, and then once the tail's up, it'll accelerate so much faster that this stick p attitude will cause the tail to come up too high, and then you're starting to rotate. Okay, so I can't see a damn thing. Okay, so we start with it all the way back. All the way we back. We have a left crosswind, so we're going to do that's not much of a left crosswind. Uh, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three with the throttle. Okay. Go ahead and bring it up. Let's go. One. Okay. Wait till it's wide open. Okay. Your feet are on the brakes a little bit. All right. There we go. Up. Now start bringing the tail up. Now this is too high. Okay. Right down right about here. Got it. So feel how it's coming back again? Yes. Okay. Right about that pitch. No lower than that. No lower. I'm, I'm holding it forward a little bit. Okay. There you go. And it's ready. You got the airplane? I have the airplane. And we're shooting for about 76 miles an hour. I'm just going to say knots, but uh, so let's go a little faster. So you can adjust your trim as necessary. And as we climb out, you'll feel this thing has a very light um, aileron touch. This, this business is very soft. Wow. Okay. Try, try rocking the wings. Feel how light those ailerons wow, are? Wow, that's incredible. Isn't that nice? But you also notice that it pulls the nose the opposite way. Look over the nose. Oh, I see what... Okay. So, so, and that's true in all airplanes. It's just more pronounced in this one. And that'll be a 76 pitch right there. Seven. Look out the, at the jury struts for your pitch attitude. Okay, so Slightly what are you going by on these jury struts? You were saying... that? Oh, uh... That's a cruise pitch attitude. That's Look over cruise. the nose. That's not a dive. Wow. Okay. I would totally. You, you can really see out of this airplane. To your airplane. My airplane. I see what you're saying though. Yeah. So that level with the horizon, yeah. even though this nose is pointing down. Yeah, it looks like it's pointing, it's pointing down, down, but, but it's, it's not. It's not. Yeah. Uh, practice traffic: a red and white starboard. You want Echo Lima, a mile and a half south at the striped fields. Northeast bound. Uh, and we'll care, need a little more opposite aileron and a turn than a Cessna. Okay. So, but not a lot. It's subtle, but it's there. Okay. And where the hell is Panama? Are we over it? Not quite. Oh, just north. Red and white Satabri is just at the uh, northwest corner of Panama, circling at 7,500. We're going to do some power on stall. Just hold it flat. It will get heavy, but just notice. If you look at the jury strut, okay. it will slow down to about 72 at that flat pitch. We're a little nose down. You just let the nose right there, right there, right there. Got it. There you go. Close it completely. Closed completely. Okay. Yep. Close that throttle completely. And it should it should slow down to about 70, about 72. We'll go up right just a little bit there. 
Okay, let's stall it. About twice the size of the horizon, right about here. This will do it. Okay. And on the throttle, and just, uh, and wait, wait for it to break. Wait okay. for it to break. Pretty soon. A little more, a little more. And there it is. Okay. Full throttle. And right back to the climb. P factor. Wow, it's, just like that. It's pretty benign. It's uh, pretty conventional. And once we're beam the number eight, we're going to pull it back to 1500 RPM and hold this pitch. Okay. And trim is your friend to flying this airplane. 1500. And don't let the nose rise or fall. As it slows down, add back trim. Add back trim. Trim, okay. trim, other handle. There you go. Full there's other stock. Okay. Three, taking off for runway eight. We'll be Keep it flat. Eight. Clear your wing and turn base. Echo Lima turning base eight, folder. Five, two, turn off. Little opposite aileron. Okay. Just a little. Got it. Just a very subtle. Okay, let's throttle back a little more. Throttle back a little bit more. And it'll just steepen our descent and it will slow us down a little bit. Soldier traffic, Echo is uh, turning base for eight. And Echo Lima, short final eight. And we may make this uh, full stop unless that's going to make you go around. Uh, you practice go around anyways. Okay, now do not round out. Okay. Take a quick look to the right. Look at the jury strut. Got it. That's your pitch attitude. That's your pitch attitude. Okay. Yep. And do not flare yet. Not yet. Okay. Get closer. 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 Okay. Right about now. Look to the side where we were talking about. Got it. Don't let it land. Don't let it land. Back there. All right. Back. 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 Don't let it land again. Don't let it land again. Oh. Pull. Pull hard. Okay. Okay. Echo Lim is going to take the second turn. So are you watching that jury strike coming in? Uh, not oh. uh, not once you flare. Yeah. Uh, what I was talking about is the point fifty to 80 feet ahead, 100 feet ahead at the edge of the runway. Got it. Look there now. It's not going to look much higher than this. Do you see what I'm saying? I see what yeah, you're okay? saying. Okay. That's what we're going to do in the future. And I wanted to be able to discuss that with you. Uh, okay, echo limits clear. Okay, cool trim females cough. Cool cow flaps open. Well, we don't have them. Okay. Trim set for takeoff. Okay. Females flaps retracted. Cough carburetor heat off. Carburetor heat off. Let's taxi back. We're ready to fly. Okay. See what I mean? When we touched mains and it started mains first a little early and it started skittering around a little bit, I said, ah, just don't let it.